And like that, one door closes, another one opens. All of a sudden, a brand spanking new open spot for, uh, for a brand new regular on the show. And we have chosen him. This young man has only had one appearance on the show, and with that appearance, he got booked by me to open for me in two theaters in his home state of Florida. The kid is a phenom. He's all the talk of the little boy room, the smaller room at the mothership, where a, a lot of his peers uh, literally talk about this guy every night. They're endorsing him. I'm so excited to see his second minute ever. Ladies and gentlemen, fans of Kill Tony, I present to you a guy that we're all going to get to meet over a very long period of time. I truly believe this is the future. Make some noise for Cam Patterson, everybody. So my older brother very racist, and he would always tell me, Cam, don't you ever in your life date no white bitch. You can fuck her, you can put your dick in her mouth, you can nut on her face. But y'all two never, and I mean never, date one. And I, yeah. And I never understood that because I was only six years old. <laughs> So as a child, I was perplexed. That's my first time using that word, sir, and I like it. It means confused, nigga. I will tell y'all this, though. When I was in high school, I dated a white girl, and I love that stupid bitch, but I let my whole family down. I remember they came up to me, and she, she was like, she was stupid. She never understood black culture. She never got black culture. I had a flat top of high school. I kept a pick in my hair, but she never saw me use the pick. So I just tried to pick that was in my hair, and one day she came up to me, she was like, Cam, that's an extremely weird place to keep a knife. Oh. And I was like, what the fuck? So I stabbed her. <laughs> hey guys, I'm with. The motherfucker has arrived. I'm telling you, this guy has street cred Jesus to the Christ. brim at the mothership. Two unbelievable performances under your belt on Kill Tony. You are the newest regular on the show. Would I be a bitch if I cried? No, no, it'd be okay. They'd probably beat you up when you go visit back home, but we won't do that here. And you're originally from Jacksonville, Florida, correct? Now I'm from Orlando, Orlando, Florida. Orlando. West Orlando, yes sir. Okay. All right, represent. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Uh, what's something real quick, because uh, we have so much time to interview you. We're going to do that a lot every single episode from here on out. But just for this one, for the big one, what's something you think we should know about you as we get to know you? What do you think the uh, 3,000 people in front of you, what's something interesting uh, about you? I'm not retarded, but I like rocks. <laughs> I like how they feel, you know what I'm saying? They feel real good. I got this one. Oh it just feel goodness. good. Is that a rock? Yeah. It, uh, you like rocks. I got a couple of them bitches. <laughs> I like this one. This one's pretty. Unbelievable. I got this shit outside earlier, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, that. <laughs> <laughs> that's. <laughs> That set was hilarious, but that's somehow better. That was amazing. Have you always done that? Yeah. You, you I just, just like the way they feel. They just make me go to sleep and shit. Does, <laughs> does, does TSA ever say you can't fly with these rocks? No, ever, no, no, no. One time I threw one away and I was real upset because the next time I got there with my other one, like, it was fucked up. <laughs> this is the up. best. You got to do a rock check-in like every week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Cam, I'm so excited about the future, dude. Uh, I'm pumped. We're going to keep it moving so along. Welcome to the family. This is the future right here. I promise you. Cam motherfucking Patterson. Cam with a K. 
Hey, you guys want to do something cool real quick, huh? Why don't you guys all 